Hey guys, it's Steve here of Hankster's Hot Rods, and what we have for you today is this beautiful 1970 Dodge Super B. And what we're going to do is do our walk around on and go over exterior features and so on. Starting here at the front, the first thing you notice is the color. It is in the correct color of B7 blue. Uh, beautiful dark blue metallic. Um, really nice paint on this car. It's got a nice shine, a nice gloss to it. Of course, um, really smooth. Um, other thing you'll notice, it does have the uh, dual hood scoops, which was uh, came with the Super Bs with the 440 emblems, which is indeed what it has in it. And we're going to go over that as we go around the vehicle. Um, down here at the wheels, uh, we do have the stainless wheel well moldings at all four corners. We've got the chrome Magnum 500 wheels with the black inserts um, and the um, BF Goodrich Radio TA raised white leather tires at all four corners. Coming up to our first gap on the driver's side, fender to door. Very even going down, and our body lines you see right here lines up very nicely, and right here, right on the money. Our windshield driver's side, no chips and cracks. As our driver's side glass here as well, no chips and cracks, and this is slightly tinted. Our bright work on the car is in very good condition. Slight scratching here and there, but overall very nice. And you do have a little bit of pitting going up the uh, pillar here, but overall pretty good condition. Coming back here to our second gap driver's side, door to quarter panel. Very even going down, and again you see our body lines there line up very nicely. Uh, what I'm going to do now is we're going to open up the driver's side door, and we're going to go over the interior from this point of view. See the door jams, very nice. Vinyl bucket seats in the front, full length console, pistol grip, manual floor shifter there. Very awesome feature there. Very popular. You got the wood grain on the dash and the console. Dash, door panels, carpet, very nice shape. You do have the tick tock tack up there as well. Moving along. Uh, before we get to the back here, we're going to just address the C-stripe here in white. Very nice condition on the striping, of course, with the Super B stickers as well. Coming back to the back window, our bright work around the back window is in great shape. In the back window itself, no chips and cracks. Our gapping on the trunk lid, very nice and even the whole way around. And of course, we got the trunk mounted rear wing in black. Coming around to the back here. Our tail lenses in great shape, no chips and cracks. Our tail panel here in good shape, got a little bit of patina on it here and there. And of course you got the Super B emblem there. Down here at the bottom you have the dual exhaust with the chrome tips. Our rear bumper chrome, very nice shape. The chrome on the rear bumper is in great shape with the bumperettes here, also in great condition. What we're going to do now is I'm going to open up the trunk and we'll go over everything in here. Under the trunk, body color. Inside the jams, no rust holes or anything in there. Very nice shape. Our weather stripping, all intact. Good condition. Down here in the trunk floor. Uh, of course, you've got the floor mats here, the Super B floor mats that will go with the vehicle. Uh, let me get them out of the way. You'll see the trunk floor, really nice shape. You've got all your indentations. You've got your mounts for your spare and so on back there. You've got all your grommets all around the trunk, your drains, you can see all your indentations, very nice shape, and of course, everything in here is body color. Very glossy paint, uh, very nice, done just like the uh, outside of the vehicle. Moving along, coming around to the passenger side, again we have our C-stripe in white, with the Super B decals and also very nice condition. The striping is in nice shape. Again, the paint also very smooth and shiny all around the car there, really pops with the metallic in it. Um, coming up to our first gap passenger side, quarter panel to door. Very even going down. You see our body lines line up right on the money there. Our passenger side glass, no chips and cracks either. And also as the other side, slightly tinted. What we're going to do now is I'm going to open up the passenger door and we'll go up the interior from this point of view. See the door jams on this side, very nice as the driver's side. You got your uh, pistol grip hearse shifter there. 
dash pad is in very nice. Glove box, carpet, and seats, all in very good condition. Move along. Coming up to our second gap passenger side door to fender. Very even going down. Body lines, as you can see there, line right up on the money. Very straight there. Passenger side of the windshield, no chips and cracks. Hood gapping. Pretty good on both sides of the fenders and very even to the cowl to the hood area back there. Here's our dual scoops. Trim around them are in very nice shape. Chrome's really nice. Of course, you got the emblems as well. Coming around to the front, my favorite part of a 70 Super B is the front end of the car. You got the dual uh, bumpers here with the headlights deep in. It just, I just love that look. And of course, you got your Super B emblem right here in the center. The chrome around this front bumper is really nice, just like the back. Very good, good condition, of course, with the bumperettes as well. And also, we have the uh, factory hood pins here, which what we're going to do now is I'm going to take these all off, and we're going to open the hood, and we'll go over to everything in the engine bay. We have the uh, Ram Charger or Air Grabber, how you want to call it there, but the Ram Charger uh, intake uh, hood here, the N96. Um, what we have under the hood here is a 446 pack. Uh, so we have the three uh, carburetors on this engine. Uh, very nice engine. Of course, you know these uh, very, very popular motors and combinations with the six pack combination on there. Uh, nostalgic, very popular, and this one runs very well. We also have power steering, power brakes, um, stock style radiator, your aprons, firewall, all in body color, rad support as well. Everything is matched, really pretty under the hood. Another extra uh, thing there just really makes this car pop. What we're going to do now, guys, is we're going to put this up in the air and show you the undercarriage. Hey guys, we got our Super B up in the air. We're going to go through the undercarriage here and the components underneath uh, as we normally do. Uh, starting at the front, we got disc brakes in the front, drum brakes in the back. Um, our control arms and so on look to be of a stock style. We do have a front sway bar on this vehicle as well. Um, our front cross member here, that's in really good shape. I see holes are rust in that. Um, our oil pan on our 440. Our rear main seal. Our 883. Transmission side and rear seals and our output seal nice and dry. I don't see any leaks there whatsoever. Our transmission cross member looks good there. Uh, we do have dual exhaust on the vehicle coming off the of stock style manifolds. They come back, got a crossover pipe, and we're going into the dual mufflers back there, and I'll address that as we get back a little further. Um, we do have the torsion bars here, our front frame sections look good. And look good. Um, as you can see, the floor underneath this vehicle is painted in the same blue color that's on the side of the body and top and so on. Um, you have all your rubber grommets there, there. There, 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 um, and in here, back near the rear section, all present. Um, you got your e-brake cable coming here, splitting. Um, our dual exhaust, as I had mentioned, here's your crossover pipe coming back. You got dual mufflers, and then it goes up, over, and down, and out the back on either side of the fuel tank into chrome tips, which I had mentioned earlier. Um, our rear frame sections. Look good. And look good. Um, we got leaf spring suspension on the back of the car. Stock style uh, shock absorbers there. Our front shock mounts. Look good. And our rear shackles or hangers. 
look good and look good. Um, our input seal at our rear differential, Dana 60 rear end, and our rear differential cover looks good. No leaks whatsoever there. All that looks dry as well. Balance drive shaft. Um, like I had mentioned, we've got drum brakes on the back, disc brakes in the front. Our fuel tank, front strap mounts look good. Rear mounts look good, straps look good, and the tank itself looks very nice as well. Uh, the floor up above the differential, you've got your rubber grommets up there. All your crossbars and indentations in the floor are all present, as you can see. All your embossments, all present. All in all, looks pretty good in under here. Um, what we're going to do is drop it down, fire the engine up to get it run.